Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles, a great millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Uh, this is Brother Yagadal Aman out here from GMS Houston, Texas. Just wanted to go into the, uh, a quick lesson, man, uh, uh, proving through the scriptures that we will be delivered out of these bodies. We'll be part, of, be part of the elect and the faithful men believe and trust in this. And this is one of the things that we long for. And with that, man, I'm going to go into this first scripture. This is uh, 1 Peter 3 and 18. For Yahweh Shai also hath once suffered for sins the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to Yahweh, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the spirit, by which also he went and preached unto the spirits in prison. And the spirits in prison is speaking to us, man, in the middle of the Lord that's in these mortal bodies right now, man, which is a prison, man. The scriptures call it uh, chains of darkness. And that's what we heard and received the Heavenly Father and His Son's word, man. And, um, but that's one of the main things that brothers believe in wholeheartedly that if we be part of the elect, that we're going to be beamed up into those chariots and delivered out of these bodies, man. These, these weak, low-level, uh, decrepit bodies that we in, man. Susceptible to ailments, all type of uh, weariness and, and, and different things that we uh, go into and uh, we just suffer in these bodies, man. This is part of our hell uh, and, and part of... The curses, man. But uh, I got another scripture we're going to. This is Zechariah chapter 9, verse 12. It says, Turn you to the stronghold, you prisoners of hope. And we are the prisoners. Prisoners in Babylon, prisoners in these bodies, man. And we prisoners of hope. Our hope is that we be part of the elect and delivered out of this place, man. And we receive salvation. But the rest of these uh, so-called Israelite camps... Man, they don't have no hope, man. Their hope is in Babylon. Their hope is that they uh, maintain a certain amount of views on YouTube and get recognized and have a segre uh, segregated society in the, uh, amongst a wicked society, man, and remain and die in these bodies, man. They really don't want to see the uh, Yahweh Shah return. But I'm going to read on. It says, Even to the day do I declare that I will render double unto thee when I have bent Judah for me, and Judah is representing the southern kingdom, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, fill, fill the bow with Ephraim, that's the northern kingdom, or the Latin, uh, Native American, Seminole Indians, uh, and raise up thy sons, O Zion, against uh, thy sons, O Greece. And that uh, you go into that word, Greece, as you want, and uh, since Esau uh, stole stole that name from uh from J uh, Japheth, then then now they are uh, uh this what that scripture is basically speaking on speaking to the actual edomites man and it says um and made thee as a sword of a mighty man letting you know that the lord is going to give us powers man and the only way we're going to receive those powers is to be delivered out of this body man and that and that's something to suffer for that's something to wait for man Shit, to never have an ailment again, man. Have spiritual powers, man. And but that's uh, one of the things that's uh, a future prophecy. That's not have. Uh, it's something that we waiting on because we know that this is this ain't it, man. Most high, how can you call the most high all merciful, and you remain in this body, and the kingdom is supposed to be established. But uh, reading on, uh, I'm gonna jump over to. Revelation chapter 18 and 4 it says and I heard another voice come from heaven saying come out of her talking about Babylon my people that ye be not partakers of her sins and that ye receive not of her plagues man and that's what we fighting to do is make it out of this place so we don't be part of that nuclear destruction that's coming to this place man because that's going to be a, a, a horrible end to fall and be uh, basically destroyed as a two thirds man uh, I have one more scripture to go into just to drive the point home. This is uh, 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 15 uh, and verse 52. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and shall be changed. Changed out of these mortal bodies, man. 
delivered in to up unto the chariots, man, and changed into a glorious body like unto Yahweh Shai. And with that, man, once again, I'm going to say uh, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom.